everyone. Uh, I'm Gary Trendle, Chair of the Hopkinton Planning Board, and I'd like to provide a recap from our January 3rd, 2022 meeting. We didn't have any new proposals on the agenda, but we did have some updates to previously approved projects, as well as some administrative items. First up was the Tennis and Swim Club that was approved a couple of years ago. And with the pandemic, they, as many of you know, have not yet started construction and they requested an extension to give them a little bit more time to, uh, to start building out. Board felt that this was a reasonable request and granted a one year extension to their approval. Secondly, the board discussed several updates on the Chamberlain Wayland subdivision. We set the bond amount for road improvements uh, based on our peer reviewed estimate minus uh, some adjustments for the street tree, for the street tree count uh, to the total bond of just over $425,000. Uh, the applicant is preparing to request that all the lots be released on our January 3rd, 31st meeting. So they're just doing some preparation and legwork and checking off the boxes of things they need to do before they get to that point. Uh, additionally, the planning board discussed how to best utilize the the $10,000 that the applicant committed to traffic calming on Chamberlain and Wayland. And the board voted to release those funds to the highway department uh, so that they can determine and implement the best strategy to control vehicular speed uh, on the streets. Lastly, the board voted to add five zoning articles to the town meeting warrant. The majority of the articles are housekeeping related including a, a dimensional table to make uh, to make our, our bylaws easier to use, uh, some cleanup of plural uses, just making things grammatically correct, uh, and then also incorporating gender neutral terms. Uh, there's also an amendment to clarify that only one single family dwelling is allowed per lot, so a little bit of cleanup there. Uh, and then the fifth article uh, is uh, intended to optimize the parking requirements, in particular around laboratory, research development, and industrial uses. We've scheduled a, a public hearing for those articles for our January 31st meeting. Uh, we also uh, approved the minutes from October 19th and December 2nd. Uh, and uh, that was it for that meeting on our January 31st meeting, in addition to the Chamberlain lot release and the zoning article hearing. Uh, we're also going to uh, share a readout from our pedestrian connectivity survey, which we had a phenomenal response from, from the public. And I think we've got some really good insights that are going to come from that as we uh, build out a broader pedestrian connectivity plan. Um, and we're going to initiate some discussions um, on uh, updating our subdivision design standards. So uh, I think we've got some, some good meaty stuff that I think we're all eager to get after uh, in 2022. So that's it for me. Uh, hope you all have a great week. Stay warm and uh, we'll see some of you at the January 31st meeting.